Another guy who's kind of the opposite for me, who I'm really sweating, um, it's Ramondre. I was really in on Ramondre coming into the year. I thought he was going to maintain a lot of, you know, what he had last year. And the targets have just kind of gone away. He's dropped from a 17.5% target share last year to a 10% target share this year. He's just not getting the receiving volume that a player like him needs to be productive. And that offense, I mean, you and I were hopeful. I still am. My hope is dwindling. I'm not uh, going to judge. I'm not going to judge a Dallas, Dallas defense that pretty much destroys everyone. But I do agree with you. There is concern. Yeah, it's just like last year when they couldn't trust anybody else to move the ball, they would just dump it off to Ramondre and let him go. And that that is just gone from the playbook this year. And it worked at times last year. And I think it could work well now that they actually have some semi decent receiving options or at least willing to use those receiving options. But it's very much getting to a point where it's like he was considered a running back one fringe running back one by a lot of people coming into the year and the 12 points per game just aren't cutting it right now it's just it's getting scary because the cell when there's no cell window you're absolutely hold, you're stuck holding him if you have him because you're not getting what you paid for him and you're not getting you know a worthwhile player back for him as of right now so you really just have to hope that this production turns around He's not because he's not scoring touchdowns. He never scored a ton of touchdowns. And now he's not getting the targets that basically buoyed his points last year. Plus his efficiency. He's averaging like 2.9 yards per carry, which I know isn't a perfect metric, but that's not good. It doesn't matter who you are. Um, so there's just a lot of things that are starting to concern me about Ramondre that are, are getting me a little bit worried about what his value is going to look like rest of the season. Yeah. And we were like, we even go back to look at our early episodes of this of this series. One week I was like, buy Zeke. One week I was like, I don't, I don't think you can buy Zeke anymore. And then it just, it almost feels like the information that we're getting out of the Patriots camp doesn't seem to be consistent, or even the beat writers doesn't seem to be consistent with like trying to like nail down a strategy in this backfield. Right. So that's my concern. And like you said, the lack of targets is really concerning. But I don't want one week against Dallas to over overemphasize how I feel about this roster. I still think they should be competitive in most in most games, which means that there should be opportunities for targets, volumes, yards, and sometimes touchdowns. So well, I guess we'll have to kind of monitor this going forward with Stevenson if the mm -hmm. workload changes a lot with Ze with them giving Zeke a lot a lot more uh, work. But yeah, it's it's a wait and see and you're kind of biting your nails with every time you, you slide him into your lineup. Yeah. I don't love it. 